Hey there, Alpine. Happy Thursday. Uh, starting off with a 30 second banded lat stretch each side, open those lats up, especially since all the work we've done this week. 10 total alternating bird dogs with cone on lower back. This is to make sure that we don't go into too much extension of our lower back while we're trying to do this because we just want mid-lat engagement, so anti-flexion. I mean, sorry, anti-extension. Then, eight line straight arm kettlebell lat stretch less pullovers, no heavier than 15 pounds. So you're laying down, my dog's sniffing something weird. Laying down, holding that kettlebell, bring it back, feel a little bit of stretch, squeeze those pecs and, pec and lats, straight pullover. Boom, you're ready to party. Then we have 15 standing banded hip thrusts. We haven't done these in a while. Um, you can either have it where you're just like, where it's around your waist, or you can have it with arms straight um, and you're holding it between your legs, either or. Then we have mountain or ocean. A nice little partner workout here. How this is going is the following. Um, it's 10, 15, 20 of ski cows and kettlebell swings. How it works is partner one, there's 10 ski cows uh, and partner two does 10 ski cows, uh, followed by 10 kettlebell swings, partner two does 10 kettlebell swings, so we have 15 partner one, 50 partner one, and 15 partner one kettlebell swings, 50 partner two kettlebell swings, so on and so forth. Then we go right into a 20, 15, 10, now it's descending of row cows and synchro wall ball toss sit-ups. So how this work is, um, Partner one does 20 cows in a row, and then partner two does 20 cows in a row. And then you guys both are going to lay down and have each have your own wall ball, and you're going to do 20 synchro of those wall ball toss sit-ups, meaning um, actually not tossing them so much because it's not to each other. You have your own, but they're wall ball sit-ups. So um, ball touches the ground behind your head, ball touches your feet at the same time. You need to touch the ground and the feet at the same time to make it synchro. All right, once you guys are done with that, the 20, um, row partner one goes back on to the rower for the 15 cows, and then partner two does it after they're done. Uh, reset your monitors every single time, friends. Thank you. Um, so with this one, this is just, um, well, first of all, this is our last week of the open, so let's do make sure that if you're doing the open tomorrow that we are going to uh, take a little bit easier today like we have been for the last few uh last couple of thursdays otherwise go ham at it go ham friends um enjoy those rowers and those skis you guys do enjoy skiing and i enjoy programming skiing actually so this is a lot of um flexion and extension especially of the midline today so you guys might be a little bit more sore in the abs than you thought you would be all right um otherwise it's going to be a quick quick workout these are this is basically um hidden interval work of sprint, stop, sprint, stop, sprint, stop. So that's what I want it to feel like, especially on those machines. We are sprinting a lot. You'll also note that I did not give a prescribed weight for our swings and our, our wall balls. That's fine. Um, and the reason for that is we want it to be a weight that uh, you can do everything unbroken. And kettlebell swings, um, they can be light if you don't have Friday night lights. Um, the next night or, or doing the open workout otherwise make it heavy and see if you can do 20 unbroken reps at 70 pounds all right uh, that's what we got friends love you